good morning everyone i am dr shanmukh guchbal academic coordinator from suresh angri education foundation angri college of commerce and science samwa road belgaum today we discuss another topic it is called complex number so i hope you already have studied the complex number so once again we will go through the uh, basic definitions and then we will go to a multiple choice questions so first we will define what is mean by a complex number a number of the form the number of the form mm -hmm. x plus i y x plus i y where x and y belonging to the set of a real number i equal to root of a minus 1 is called as a complex number so generally we call it as a i but its name is iota here i is a it is called as a iota so generally we call it as a i only so in this video i am going to use i so any number in the form of a x plus i y is called as a complex number here x is called as a real part of a complex number i y we call it as a imaginary part of a complex number then we'll define next definition conjugate to complex number conjugate of a complex number if there is exist a complex number z equal to a plus i b z equal to a plus i b then conjugate it is denoted by z conjugate equal to plus i we have to make it as a minus that is a minus i b is a conjugate of a complex number suppose z equal to x minus i y then its conjugate is <coughs> x plus i y okay like that conjugate of a complex number is defined next we'll define modulus of a complex number so z equal to a plus i b is a complex number then modulus of a complex number is denoted by mod z equal to under the square root of real part square real part is a it's a square a square and imaginary part that is i we have to new b it's a square b square so mod z equal to under the square root of a, a square plus b square we call it as modulus of a complex number <coughs> then we we'll go to a example so first example i will read out if 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i equal to 1 then the least integral value of m is that we have to calculate in our pc first year we have studied this type of a example here so it was a lengthy procedure so simple technique we are going to use it so here i take a given expression 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i okay now denominator conjugate we have to multiply and divide it so it is multiplied by 1 plus i divided by 1 plus i 1 plus i okay like this so numerator it is in the form of <coughs> x plus y into x plus y it is x plus y whole square so we have to expand it a square 1 square is 1 b square i square it is minus 1 plus 2ab so we get a 2i and whole divided by it is of the form a minus b into a plus b c so table formula is a square minus b square <coughs> so 1 square is 1 next minus as it is i square it is a minus 1 minus into minus we get a plus 1 so in the next step plus 1 minus 1 get cancels we get 2i whole divided by 1 plus 1 it is a 2 then 2 2 going to cancel so left side side 
it is a expression it is a i solution is i raised to m and rhs is equal to 1 here yes so next what value of i we are going to get a 1 so we know i equal to root of a minus 1 if you square it both side we get a i square equal to minus 1 then i cube is i cube is it is a i square into i i square is minus 1 minus 1 into i it is a minus i and i is to 4 i is to 4 is it is i square into i square minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 we get it so this value i am going to use here so it is i raised to m as it is and 1 we take it as i raised to 4 now bases are same powers we can equate so we get the value of m equal to 4 therefore b is a right answer b is a right answer now we will move to a second example the value of i raised to 592 plus i raised to 590 like that so on it is so whole expression minus 1 equal to we have to find a solution for this huh? see looking at this example it looks a very complicated so solution technique is very simple so here in this expression least i value is i raised to 584 so i am going to take i raised to 584 as a common so if you take that common we get i raised to 8 plus i raised to 6 next i raised to 4 plus i square plus 1 whole divided by here least value is it is i raised to 574 if you take it to that so we get i raised to 8 plus i raised to 6 plus i raised to 4 plus i square plus 1 this expression minus 1 I am going to write here and we can clearly see here that 1 plus i square plus i raised to 4 plus i raised to 6 plus i raised to 8 it is present in a <coughs> numerator as well as a denominator we cancel it so after cancelling we get i raised to 584 divided by i raised to 574 use the laws of indices that is a raised to m divided by a raised to n it is a raised to m minus n so we get i raised to 584 minus 574 we are going to get answer as a 10 and this minus 1 we write as it is then see all of you know see how to solve this i raised to 10 so we take i raised to a 2 every time then 2 5s are 10 2 5s are 10 minus 1 so we know all of you yes i square is minus 1 raised to 5 minus 1 minus 1 raised to odd number it is a minus 1 minus 1 raised to even number it is a plus 1 so here it is a minus 1 minus 1 that is answer is minus 2 therefore option b is a right answer next we will move to a third example now in this example it is a given that 1 plus i square plus i raised to 4 plus i raised to 6 plus so on plus i raised to 2n is equal to okay so for that we need to simplify then guess the correct answer 
so options are positive negative zero cannot be determined okay so now one we write as it is i square it is a minus 1 i raised to 4 it is a i square square minus 1 square is a plus 1 then i raised to 6 it is i square raised to 3 yes i square raised to 3 it is a minus 1 raised to 3 so it is a negative number then so on so we have a last part i raised to 2n that is here it is n we don't know whether n is a positive number negative number we don't know that so we write this as i square this can be written as i raised to 2 raised to n here like this here it is plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 that going to get cancel so finally we get i square as a minus 1 and raised to n i told you we don't know the value of a n whether it is a positive or negative it is not known to us therefore correct option is cannot be determined okay right we'll move to our next example <coughs> so it is i square plus i raised to 4 plus i raised to 6 plus up to 2n plus 1 terms 2n plus 1 terms so it is i square we write it as a minus then i raised to 4 we know it is a plus 1 i raised to 6 so i told you it is a i square raised to 3 i square is minus 1 minus 1 raised to a odd number here so we get a minus 1 so next we get a plus 1 so here it is a said that up to 2n plus 1 terms so it is minus 1 yes or else we write i raised to 2n minus 1 like this then plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 get cancels then we get i i square raised to it is a 2n minus 1 means it is a odd number here so odd number means we get answer as a yes we will get answer as a Minus one. Therefore, which is a correct option? Yes. D is a right answer. Okay. D is a right answer. Next, we'll move to our fifth example. If i equal to root of a minus one, then one plus i square plus i cube minus i raised to six plus i raised to eight is equal to. So one we write as it is i square we write it as a minus one i cube it is a i square into i so i square is minus one so we get a minus i so if you are having a difficulty in writing see I will split like this i square into i minus i raised to six it is a i square raised to Three and i raised to eight, we can write i square raised to four here, like this. So plus one minus one get cancels. So we get i square is minus one minus one into i minus i is and i square is minus one. This is outside minus. i square is minus 1 minus 1 raised to 3 odd number so it is minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 we get it next further i square is minus 1 minus 1 raised to even number it is a plus 1 so further we can simplify this 1 plus 1 it is a 2 and minus i as it is okay therefore 2 minus i is a answer therefore Correct option is A. 
then we will move to our next example it is a given that i equal to root of a minus 1 otherwise i square equal to minus 1 then the value of summation n takes the value from 1 to 200 i raised to n is so <coughs> this can be written as this can be written as so it is i take n equal to 1 i expand first so i take n equal to 1 so taking n equal to 1 means so we get a yes we get i i raised to 1 next we take n equal to 2 we get i square so next number so we get 3 like that so on so last term we are going to get it as r is to 200 r is to 200 like this we get it so we observe that which is geometric progression which is a geometric progression so we write a formula for this geometric formula Sn formula is Sn equal to it is a, a into 1 minus r is to n divided by 1 minus r so this is equal to a is it is a <coughs> first term that is a i yes so next one as it is minus r common ratio it is <coughs> second term divided by first term i square divided by i we get a i yes so raised to n it is n is up to a 200 terms here whole divided by whole divided by it is 1 minus r so it is 1 minus i so it is 1 minus i further so i write it as this is a i so 1 minus i is to 200 can be written as it is i square yes it is a i square raised to 100 right i raised to 200 can be written as i square raised to 100 so i square is minus 1 minus 1 raised to 100 so we get a plus 1 plus into minus minus so 1 minus 1 whole divided by it is 1 minus i so we observe that plus 1 minus 1 going to cancel so 0 divided by 1 minus i so we get an answer as a 0 therefore option c is a right option so we will move to our next example the value of the sum summation n takes the value from 1 to 13 with the expression i raised to n plus i raised to n plus 1 where i equal to under the square root of a minus 1 is equal to ok so first we will expand this so i take the value of n equal to 1 first i expand first term and then i am going to expand the second term so i take n equal to 1 i get i next to i square so on like that so we get last term i raised to 13 on the other hand second term i expand so i take n equal to 1 we get a i square and then i cube then like that so it is i raised to n plus 1 we get i raised to 40 i raised to 40 so this is a first term expansion this will be a second term expansion now some of our terms formula we have to use it that is a is i in a first expansion a is i it is 1 minus 1 minus r is i raised to n n is 13 whole divided by 1 minus 
i 1 minus i plus as it is so here it is a is i square 1 minus i raised to it is a we are going to get 14 whole divided by it is 1 minus i 1 minus i ok if you simplify this so we get i 1 minus i raised to 13 can be written as i raised to 12 and i raised to 1 here so that will become a i divided by 1 minus i ok and i square as it is i square as it is we get 1 minus i it is i raised to 2 raised to 7 it is a so we are going to get i here right divided by 1 minus i so here 1 minus i 1 minus i from numerator and denominator get cancels here also get cancels so we left with i plus i square so i write i as it is i square is minus 1 so plus into minus 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 1 so correct answer is i minus 1 therefore option b is a right answer <coughs> next we will move to a example number 8 so question is the least positive integer n which will reduce i minus 1 raised to n yes raised to n i minus 1 divided by i plus 1 raised to n to a real number is ok <coughs> so for that we have to take i minus 1 divided by i plus 1 and we have to multiply and divide by it is a conjugate here so we get yes it is a i minus 1 and i minus 1 so numerator it is of the form a minus b into a minus b a minus b whole square a square minus 1 b square that is a 1 square is 1 minus 2 ab minus 2i whole divided by denominator is of the form a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square i square is i square is minus 1 yes and this is a minus 1 like this ok so in the next step minus 1 plus 1 get cancels so we get yes minus 2i divided by minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 get cancels we get a i so what we observe it is not only i raised to the power n so i take it as a n so if you take n equal to 1 n equal to 1 it will become i raised to 1 we get a complex number as a i if you take n equal to 2 so n equal to 2 i square it is we get i square is minus 1 which is a real number which is a real number therefore the suitable value of a n is a 2 therefore option yes option a is right answer here option a is a right answer next <coughs> the value of i 1 plus i raised to 8 plus 1 minus i raised to 8 is so for this see we have to write this as one simple technique is there 1 plus i i take a square of this and it is a 8 means 2 4 is a 8 like this we can write it and another expression we can write this as 1 minus i square i take raised to 4 it is right so in the next step we will expand this a plus b whole square a square and b square is 
i square is a minus 1 plus 2ab it is a 2i raised to 4 so simple mathematics i am going to use here similarly next it is a a minus 2 whole square a square minus b square yes plus b square is a minus 1 yes it is a minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 ab minus 2 i raised to 4 units. so what we observe here plus 1 minus 1 get cancels here also plus 1 minus 1 going to cancel so 2 raised to 4 i write and then i raised to 4 i raised to 4 so similarly here plus i write minus raised to 4 plus 2 raised to 4 then i raised to 4 yes in the next step i take 2 raised to 4 i raised to 4 yes this can be written as 2 raised to 4 i raised to 4 can be written as i square into i square it is going to be a plus 1 and here it is 2 raised to 4 here so 2 raised to 4 repeated 2 times it is a 2 times 2 raised to 4 here so we get 2 raised to 5 yes 2 raised to 5 is 32 it is a 32 therefore correct option is c here so remember we should not use a binomial theorem for this yes so if you use it it is a very lengthy procedure here so this is very shortcut trick for you so that is 1 plus i raised to 8 is written as raised to square raised to 4 okay and see you have to solve such type of a example and a plus b whole square directly we have to write a square plus b square is minus 1 plus 2 ab like this here also we have to expand it and both the cases plus 1 minus 1 get cancels so remove it that i raised to 4 it is a plus 1 and then 2 raised to 4 repeated 2 times 2 into 2 raised to 4 and so using the laws of indices a raised to m into a raised to n a raised to m plus n so 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 5 is 32 so option c is a right answer like this you have to use a simple trick okay so similar type of example is there yes i hope see similar type of example i have taken for your better understanding here 1 plus i raised to 10 you can guess this how we can write it so one hint is don't use a binomial theorem because binomial theorem using that we will get an answer but we have to use a shortcut trick within a one minute you have to solve such type of an example so i take this as 1 plus i 1 plus i raised to yes you can guess this raised to 2 and 2 5s are 10 here yes so further yes so we know this a plus b whole square a square 1 plus b square is minus 1 and 2 a b it is a 2 i right raised to 5 then plus 1 minus 1 going to cancel so we get 2 raised to 5 last example we have solved it is 32 i raised to 5 see very simple if you get the odd number like this i raised to 5 this can be written as i raised to 4 into i i raised to 4 is it is plus 1 right and into i it is so we get the answer as a i so 32 i is a right answer therefore option a is right answer so therefore i have taken a such type of a example every time try to represent square in terms of a another digit so that you should get the same number 2 5 is a 10 in this example dear friends we will move to a next example it is x equal to 3 plus i then x cube minus 3x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to okay so what i will write is 
from this first expression I write a solution for a i that is x minus 3 equal to i it is x minus 3 equal to i on the other hand I square this I square this so squaring ok so we get a a square yes next uh, minus 2 a b so that is minus 3 into 2 into x 6 x plus b square right so it is 9 and here it is a i i square is minus 1 here ok if I transport a minus 1 to a LHS we get a x square minus 6 x minus on this side it is a 10 equal to 0 10 equal to 0 then this x cube minus 3 x square minus 8 x plus 15 can be written as x into x square minus 6 x plus 10 plus 3 times it is a x square minus 6x plus 10 close this minus 50 right so but x square minus 6x plus 10 is 0 so this part will become a 0 as well as this part will become a 0 so we get we are left with it is minus 15 here minus 15 therefore option D is a right answer option D is a right answer right so we will move to our next example the smallest positive integer n for which 1 plus i raised to 2n equal to 1 minus i raised to 2n is see smallest positive integer we have to take it so for that I take uh, this expression and then this term I transport it in a LHS we have to transport it in a LHS so we get this expression as 1 plus i so I am not uh, going to solve stepwise you have to use uh, some basic tool so 1 minus i so now both side powers are same so here only I write it as raised to 2 n and RHS nothing is there means there will be one here so like this instead of uh, writing uh, two steps in one step I have written okay so you need a practice for this okay so every example here you have to solve it okay right so I take see um, P by Q complex number 1 plus I divided by 1 minus I you know what is the next step it is very simple we have to rationalize the denominator so it is I am not taking now 2n yes so it is 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i and its conjugate is 1 plus i divided by 1 plus i it is so numerator it is in the form of a plus b into a plus b a plus b whole square see you know this yes many times we have solved it is a 2i right so i will explain you once again this a square 1 b square i square is a minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancels 2ab 2i okay then it is of the form a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square 1 minus i square is minus 1 so we get it as a 2 and here I use a power as a 2 n now 2 2 get cancels so <coughs> RHS part it is a 1 so i what value is 1 i raise to what value we get a 1 see so many times we have solved see i is root of a minus 1 i square is it is a minus 1 i cube is minus i i raise to 4 equal to plus 1 so what i do it is a i raise to i write 2 n and 1 we take it as i raise to 4 now bases are same powers we can equate so 2 n equal to 4 
to n equal to 4 therefore the value of n equal to 2 therefore option b is a right answer so we move to a next example that is 1 minus i divided by 1 plus i raised to 100 is equal to a plus ib then see we have to calculate a and b value here and see among this hmm, uh, a b c d option we are going to get an answer so it is not a complicated raise to 100 means we think of using a binomial theorem so with a simple trick i'll solve this example very simple it is so 1 minus i i am not taking a power right now and I am not taking a RHS also. So I simplify P by Q complex number 1 minus I divided by 1 plus I. I take it. So next it is a conjugate I multiply 1 minus I divided by 1 minus I and raise to 100 it is raise to 100. So next it is of the form A minus B into A minus B. It is A minus B whole square so it is a, a square plus b square that we get a minus 1 divided by sorry minus 2ab minus 2i whole divided by it is a, a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square 1 plus 1 we get a 2 yes now 1 1 get cancels right next 2 2 are to also get cancels so we get minus i raised to a hundred here minus hmm, i raised to a hundred so further rhs part is a plus i b okay so minus i this can be written as minus raised to hundred it is a minus raised to a even number so we get i raised to hundred i raised to hundred can be written as you know this i square yes we have to start from a square 2 raised to 50 here 2 into 50 100 we get i square is minus 1 minus 1 raised to 50 right so it is a plus 1 and the rhs part is a plus i b a plus i b so this also we have to write in a complex form so very simple only real part i write a real part imaginary part if it is a absent i times zero we have to write this is equal to a plus i b here now we observe that yes real part we can equate here the value of a equal to one imaginary part will equate so b equal to zero so we get a solution as a equal to 1, b equal to 0, that is correct option is b. So, I hope you understood this example. So, like this, without using a binomial theorem, using this a simple trick, we have to solve an example. So, we will move to a next example. So, z1 is a complex number. This is another way of representing a complex number. So, z is a complex number. z1 is a first complex number. So, I write this as <coughs> z1 equal to first coordinate is a real part. Second coordinate is a imaginary part. 4 plus i phi or phi i. z2 equal to it is a real part is minus 3 imaginary part is it is a i times 2 <coughs> then z1 divided by z2 is equal to yes for that i take z1 divided by z2 z1 divided by z2 then we'll take substitute the values 4 plus phi i divided by minus 3 plus 2i then denominator it is a complex number so we have to take a conjugate of this minus 3 minus 2i then minus 3 minus 2i right 
so for that we have to simplify here it is not of the any of the standard form here so a plus b into c plus t if we simplify this we get minus 12 4 3 are 12 minus 12 similarly minus 8 i minus 15 i plus 10 here what I have done 4 is multiplied with these two element phi i is multiplied with these two element denominator it is of the form yes a plus b into a minus b here so a square minus b square we get 9 minus 2 i whole square here ok so if we simplify so we get minus 2 yes minus 12 plus 10 minus 2 divided by i square is minus 1 so 2 square is 4 right minus into minus plus 9 plus 4 13 then uh, it is a minus 8 i minus 15 i it is minus 23 denominator is a 13 is a complex number i so first coordinate it is a uh, minus 2 13 minus 2 13 yes second coordinate is minus 23 divided by 13 yes so here very confusing here which is a correct option look at here along with the sign both are negative here so c is a right answer okay dear friends today we have solved these examples 14 examples we have completed remaining examples we continue in a next session if you are having any queries in a whatsapp group there is a numbers are there admin you can uh, uh, send a message to an admin here like that you can clarify your doubt okay once again good afternoon everyone thank you